Uh, let's clear the air a little bit. Um, I want to thank everybody for the uh, the amazing support that I've had uh, over the last sort of couple of weeks with regards to my job situation. It's not an ideal place to be. I mean, I don't actually have to have a job financially. I'm okay. But I do still want to be on the roads. Um, I want to start by saying that um, although I've had a huge amount of um, nice comments, let's say, I've also had my fair share of nasty comments from people who think they know better than me and don't respect my decision to leave a job. Um, no, I don't want to particularly name and shame anybody, but all the comments are on here. You just feel free. Like, D5 Drift complains about being away from home. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Goes to Sweden. <laughs> there's there's a difference, and I, I don't think I fully explained why I left my job at JK Transport. It wasn't that I was doing nights out. Nights out are fine and I can spend time away from my family. That's okay. The problem was that I was working very anti-social hours all around the clock. Throughout the week I never knew where I stood. There was no consistency and at one point, I think it was my second to last week, I was working every day throughout the night and I'd be home during the day, which was fine, but um while I'm home and I'm sleeping, my girlfriend's working, my kids are at school, I'm not seeing them. And that was one of the final straws. So it wasn't that I was doing nights out, nights out is fine as long as it's planned to some degree. Uh, or I can expect to do two or three a week, that's fine. It was more, not necessarily the hours I was working in terms of how many hours, but the time that I was working. That's why I left JK Transport. And I should probably say that I'm ill. I don't know if you can tell. I've been ill since yesterday. Uh, which probably was one of the reasons why I quit <laughs> quit my job at T. Barry. Um, now, I get a lot of slack online for quitting a job after only two days of working there. Which is fair enough. Maybe I should have given it longer. I wanted to actually give it longer. Um, until at the very least the end of the week. But I was, when well, again, I don't want to slag the company off, but I was not hearing anything good about them from people who will remain anonymous, but people who currently work for them and people who had worked for them were all telling me to get out while I could. I even had someone come up to me on social media once I quit saying I did the right thing. He used to work for him. Best thing he's ever done. So I... <laughs> To those of you who are saying that I quit my job only after two days and that, I mean, like, let's go through some of the comments, like, <laughs> uh, is that why you quit your new job, to go to Oslo? No, it was not. So much for wanting to spend more time with your family, you would be claiming lazy boy benefits next. No, I'm not like that. I want to work. I just want to have a job that I like. Uh, what, you want to spend more time with your family? How about giving your road legends to Didi? Like, just, I'm getting... You've only been truck driver for two years. I'm getting nice comments. Thanks, Stevie. That's amazing. Uh, but I'm also getting comments from people who don't know what I went through. <laughs> um, I was advised to leave. I left. End of story. I was told I wasn't going to be happy there. And I felt like I wasn't going to be happy there. Do you know what? Yeah. So I was given a Mercedes truck and it was made clear at the interview. By the way, the guy who interviewed me, I'm not going to say his name, but he he's a decent bloke outside of that job. I probably would have got on, on with him fine. I got on with him fine in the job, but he said during the interview that my truck would be the Mercedes and that he said, quote unquote, I will be glad when it goes. So I knew straight away that the truck wasn't going to be good. When I got in the truck and I've got a recording of this, it was me and, and I mean me and it was dirt all over the place. Dirt on the mattress, dirt on the roof. Disgusting. And I, I, I did mention it to them that it's quite a dirty track. And um, they said that only agency drivers have been driving it. So it's been left in quite a grotty situation. Um, anyway, so I, I, th 
I looked past that, I thought I can clean it up, no problem. It's a bit scruffed on the outside light, and then it, the truck broke down, and it wouldn't operate. Um, so I then had to take the truck to the uh, the garage to get it fixed, and then I bought another truck back for me to be driving the next day. But then I'd already decided by that point that I wanted to quit, and he already knew that I wanted to quit as well. It just, uh, I, I don't know, I wish I stayed on to try it out, but I kind of wish... I'm kind of glad that I didn't, because I was ill yesterday, and I'm ill today, and I don't think it would have went down well, so, yeah, I, I don't know, guys, I'm just in a situation where I don't feel great, <laughs> like, mentally, but I am really looking forward to going to Norway, yeah, just some of these comments, look. like, some of them are really nice, Ned, look. cheers, Ned, but, uh, I'm aware driving in isn't a nine to five job. That's fine. I can work long hours, but just want some kind of consistency. Um, in terms of jobs lined up, I still have a job lined up, which was always lined up, but it's not going to be until um, end of January. Um, so that's still lined up, and I've just signed on to an agency as well, so I can try and do some agency work. I'm happy to do class one or class two. I ain't bothered. But I just want some consistency in my work life and home life. So, yeah. (laughs) Uh, I don't know what else to say. I just wanted to give you a quick update. Um, Thank you to those of you who have been nice and left nice comments regarding my current situation. And for those of you who are leaving quite nasty comments, um, I hope you feel pleased. (laughs) Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you soon.